first and foremost, uh, I think the, you know the truth shall set you free. Transparency is 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 first and foremost. I want people to know why I make my decisions. I would want people to know uh, that there, if there's anything that causes me to have a bias, and I would certainly uh, bring that up. The, but the fact of the matter is that I don't think you know. One thing that I've learned over my public service and over my lifetime is of being a real student of of uh, government and policy is that you you really uh, have to look in the mirror and you have to make sure that you're okay with all of your decisions. And it's hard to put into words how I've developed that over my lifetime. Uh, but I became a lawyer because I felt in, inside of me that there is a certain way that I feel that people deserve justice, people deserve to be treated fairly, and, and I have a, a problem with underdogs and people that are being victimized uh, not being helped. And, you know, uh, I was one of those kids that at, at the, at lunch, at lunchtime at Pittston area, uh, I'd get a pass. It was 1973, May of 1973. I could tell you exactly how old I know I was 11 years old at the time. Uh, I'd get a lunch pass because up at the library, they were playing the Watergate hearings. And all the other kids were fooling around at lunch, and I was getting passes to go up to the library uh, to just sit there for the 50 minutes that we had for lunch and watch the Watergate hearings. I fell in love with the idea that they, there was a group of people, there was a situation that occurred and there was a group of people that were going to try to get to the truth. And I learned, you know, very early, not just from that, but that uh, it was very startling to me that even the President of the United States was going to be held accountable for actions that he had taken. I grew up in, an, in a neighborhood that everybody knew everybody, uh, that if you stole a tomato, in the, that if I stole a tomato in the morning from a neighbor's garden, my father knew about it by the time I got home at night, and, and he held me accountable for it. Um, I, I don't think, uh, I think that the problem in Luzerne County, uh, you know, as, as uh, Bill Clinton said, uh, what, is, what is wrong in America could be fixed by what is right in America. What is wrong in Luzerne County will be fixed by what is right in Luzerne County. And those of us uh, that have the ability to, to step into the ring, uh, that have the inkling to do it, have to do it. And at the same time, we have to uh, know that the, the nature of this area is, and why we all love this area so much, is that we're all connected to each other. And uh, I've learned over the years, as I said, working for the congressman, there were people that came in the door from Pittston. There were guys that called me up that only, you know, they'd only leave messages by their nicknames that they had in Pittston. I'd know instantly who they were and who their phone number was. And those are the same people that I w was able to help as I helped any other constituent. And those are the same people that I had to say, hey, I can't help you. This is, this is not something the congressman can get involved in. I've been tested over my life uh, with situations like that. And I believe in my heart that I've come through them just fine. So uh, that's how I'll do it.